what's up aquarius and welcome welcome back so this is going to be another channel message um message for this week so like this video comment down below subscribe because they've also been trying to sh shadow ban my channel um but that's fine um so you may also see a couple orbs in the background don't worry about it but we're gonna go ahead and get into this reading so let me go into my notes so i for some of you guys here this may be like i may be a couple days late to a couple weeks late for some of you guys i'm right on time okay i know for um a couple of y'all might be late but there is a reunion that's about to happen okay there's a family reunion who we introduce and somebody wants to be reintroduced into your life okay there's going to be a reunion okay um there was some type of separation um that got got in between you and like somebody who was like a lover or like a soul tribe member or somebody who was um this person is not negative okay we're not talking about nobody negative we're not talking about nobody negative okay yeah so there's going to be a reunion that's coming up, okay? You know, some for some of y'all, this may be negative. This may be a person that you don't want to motherfucking hear from, that you don't fuck with, that you wish could um crash into a ditch, okay? Like that song, um, Roses by uh, Outcast, okay? But, like I said, there is a reunion happening. So, we're going to go ahead and use this deck here. So, let's go ahead and pull some of this reunion energy. But that's, that's a channel message because... I did want to do a reading on this, but I just haven't had time. So, like I said, um, Aquarius Collective, let's see where you are right now. But yeah, I've been I've been having this energy all day. So, okay, so we got two different energies. Like I said, it could be real good or it can be real bad. What the city girls say, real bad. Is that the city girls? I think I think that's Miami in Miami real bad. Hold on, let me turn this light down because it's kind of bright. I want y'all to be able to see the cards at least. Okay. So, anyways, like I was saying, this is gonna be real good or real bad. Um, for some of you guys, you could be in a ten of cups energy where you know you're focused on your well being, your happiness, your um, your family, you know, your finances, uh, you know, being happy, celebrating, you know, in the festive vibe or kind of just you know in this energy where you're just. I'm hearing all American or maybe somebody could be watching that. Okay, the show all American or you're just in a good ass vibe right now. Okay, hold on, I gotta take my damn headband off. Shit, hurt my damn ear. Um, but yeah, but I feel like the stream card. You could be abstaining from anybody, um, anything or anybody or any situations here that are um that's going to compromise your happiness, your well being, your health, your wealth, you know, your mental or anything that you know is going to bring you down in vibration or energy or altitude. For us, you guys here, ten of swords. You could have recently um um somebody could recently passed away. My condolences. You could have recently got out of a breakup here, or somehow you recently went through uh, a, a harsh situation or a harsh ending of either a karmic cycle or i'm getting uh finishing up yeah growing pains as well because i feel like with the empress card you could have went through something recently that was extremely harsh somebody could have died passed away you know some type of bad news here or something that was a uh, monumental i'm getting a lot to swallow a lot to uh, maintain or a lot to i'm hearing with the strength to carry on but that's what you have i'm hearing here i am and you're in this empress energy okay let me move this damn light it's getting on my damn nerves um but yeah Overall, for both of you guys here, the mutual energy, like I said, you guys are about to come into reunion. You guys are about to come into reunion. Okay, yeah, we have the lover's card for both of you guys. This could be like a lover, a loved one, okay, or somebody here who, I'm getting this reunion was ordained. This could be like for any type of reason. For some of you guys, it could be closure. For other of you, this could be like, you know, back where you never left off. I'm getting writing wrongs or, you know, this could even be like reunion as in like, you know, in the physical world. Like somebody who you've never um, met before, but the energy feels so clear. Okay, so we got two different storylines here. And then we have the Devil card. We have the Temperance card. Heavy Sagittarius, heavy Capricorn energy. Um, heavy Saturn ruled energy. Okay. So I'm gonna do this first storyline first. So for those of you who are about to come into reunion, like I said, this is a two way street. You need to pick which one you on. Also, somebody could recently watch the movie Final Destination. Okay, or maybe even been in a near death situation like that. And for those of you guys who are about to come into a reunion with uh somebody who maybe things ended a little crazy or harsh or whatever it was, and um. There's not really any bad blood, or maybe you haven't talked to this person, but I feel like for most of you guys, the lover's card is definitely someone here. Yeah, nine of pentacles. This could be definitely like a lover. 
nine of pentacles because you're single you're by yourself you're content so this is like a lover or a loved one or i'm getting you've been doing it all alone or you've been doing things by yourself somehow this person you're going to be surprised when they return with the eight of cups because i mean they walked out on you okay eight of cups they walked out on you maybe they turned their back on you or maybe you know something just didn't happen i just seen the four of cups so something was a whole situation but somehow it's going to be renewing it yeah seven of swords somebody could have definitely betrayed you here or you may have felt betrayed or i'm getting both parties felt betrayed in the situation at hand things could have been blown out of proportion or things were just you know um there was some type of indifference here the two of swords you guys didn't want to see eye to eye on or there wasn't any peace in harmony situation um or the rose colored glasses were not removed or whatever type of binders and blockages um, weren't removed here I just dropped the card damn let me get this damn card here yeah i have the king of swords with verse what is this king of swords yeah king of swords verse so i'm getting like yeah what's going on that somebody like did some bullshit to you i don't feel like you did anything to them or i'm getting like somebody did some bullshit to you but whoever this issue is coming back or it's going to be a reunion i feel like there could possibly be like an apology here or i'm getting this is going to come in we least expect it i'm hearing that song never going to give you up never going to let you down never going to run around and hurt you so maybe like um you could be an energy or somebody else but like i said we got the justice the hyphen court and the seven of wands somebody here i'm hearing that song the closer i get to you like what's going on is that somebody here is going to pop up on your ass and when they do pop up it's not that they're popping up at free will they're popping up because they have to they're popping up because your supportive team is making the ass do it i'm getting they having your teeth pulled here okay not having their teeth pulled. Somebody could recently went to the dentist or something like that. But no, I'm getting like they're having they're having their, their shit handed to them. And when they do reunion here, yeah, like I said, unity here. Somebody's coming into union. I feel like somebody's trying to make something right or better. Okay. Yeah, it says you understand that love that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple um effect across the universe. So like I said, whoever this is was coming, this is gonna be some type of reunion here. And this is definitely a past person. Okay, but I'm getting this person's coming back because either you went through some type of elevation recently here, or they have, and um, but I really feel like this could be this is all about you. You went through an elevation, and motherfuckers are seeing it, you know, it's showing on your sleeve. It says, Through the power of love, you release any static situations or energy in order to transform your heart space, and that's what you did here. And now this person has to come back and you know, um, transform the rest because I feel like you've transformed yourself, you've done the inner work to the outer work. Now it's time for this person to breach the gap or shoot the gap here and i feel like transformation you're going to help them transform fully as well too because whoever this person or people these individuals here um, could be more than one person for some of you guys here that are returning like i said whoever this is they thought that you weren't strong enough here or they had to go away and learn sports or strength here i'm getting a hard head makes a soft ass they have to go out and learn that shit okay also what's going on these motherfuckers made a wrong choice here and also may have even tried to dim your light here or in turn dim their own light and felt i'm hearing that that's not pretty huh or it's not enjoyable huh yeah sorry I had to drink that but yeah y'all come back into uni with somebody yeah and now they want to help you or they want your help but more importantly they want to help you they want to be cool with you they want to be in your energy or i'm giving like they want to be a part of, they want to be down I want to be down with you. I want to be down. Yeah, so I feel like you're not going to have to make a move at all. These motherfuckers are going to have to come to you. Okay? And, <coughs> excuse me. When they do come to you, you're going to get a Daria card. <coughs> Sorry. You could be in hermit mode or you could just be by yourself or doing whatever you're doing here. It says, I'm too smart, too sensitive to live in a world like ours. So you could be in this energy where you're just doing your own thing. Or you're just like, man, whatever. I'm getting asked if somebody could recently watch Clueless. Yeah, and it says we'd all agree with you, but then we'd all be wrong. So I feel like whoever these motherfuckers is coming back, you know, they could be telling people like what happened or how things went down or whatever it is. But five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. These people know they got to come back and make shit right. And I know they got to spin the block. Okay, because it says I don't have low self-esteem. I have low self-esteem for everybody else. So like I said, these individuals try to dim your light. Okay, all right. And go through. I'm hearing like create conflicting ass situations and act like they didn't know what was going on. Or wash their hands of the situation as a whole yeah because i have building a strong foundation okay you know how they say bones make milk make uh your bones strong vitamin d make your, your bones strong i'm not sure what that's about but that's what spirit said it says um respect myself and take care of my physical body by nurturing and nourishing it my body tells me what it needs i create stability and security by adequately providing 
myself with the basic needs of a healthy life, such as shelter, food, water, and clothing. I use my creativity to build a strong foundation as it's the central key for survival and growth. The more in and out of stability I have, the more grounded and fulfilling my life will become. So like I said, you've already created this inner stability and it's, and it's showing you outwardly. And now this person, they want to come back and help you or, you know, whatever it is. It's, it's time to, how do you say, get the shit together. <clears throat> I'm hearing that song, M -m 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 My Sharona. I think that's how it go. M -m 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 My Sharona. Uh, 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 uh. I forgot the name of the song. I heard it yesterday. But like I said, you can also be a creator. Or I feel like you are creative of your own reality. And motherfuckers are seeing like, oh, they really on their shit. Or they really know what they doing. Or they did. Whatever the fuck happened here. I'm hearing small hiccups or big de -doos, Okay. I'm trying to dim your light. Um, betrayals that people weren't trying to hear your side of the story about. Or hear how you felt. Or hear how something made you feel, as well as you know, um, situations that were caused here to bring you strength to make you be able to stand on your own, and also situations where you made me motherfuckers stand on what they said and what they did. These people will be coming back, okay? Um, and I feel like you don't have to make a move unless you want to, okay? Now, for the second group of y'all, okay, if you did stay to this part and you did want to see the second group. Or for some of you guys, this could actually be both of y'all. This could be both of your stories, okay? Um, so thank you guys for saying if you are the second group. So, like I said, for some of you guys who are coming back into a reunion, okay, because you could be in this empress or emperor energy, man or female, okay, you're vibrating extremely motherfucking high right now, okay? Maybe some of you guys may have a radio somewhere in your house that you forgot you had. Okay, maybe somebody needs their radio fixed here. Somehow I'm getting your your frequency is extremely high like i don't know if you guys have ever seen um i can't even think of the name in the movie but it was like some type of outbreak had happened and the whole world ended and it and it was like you know these people are living on island these are the last people on earth not on earth but you know in the area that were not um didn't have the outbreak or you know um these demogorgon looking things didn't come in and try to kill them or extinguish them or um make them go extinct i feel like what's going on right now you're vibrating so highly to the point where you have you have access to a bunch of individuals here that are on the same vibration as you. Could be online, could be offline, whatever it is. Or you will be meeting up with these individuals. <clears throat> However, like I said, Ten of Swords, you can recently went through something that was very harsh, um, very emotionally stirring here. But I'm getting that major better self. Or also, like I said, you're going through growing pains. No matter what age you are, but you're vibrating really, really high with the double card. These are all motherfuckers here who weighed you down. Okay, also, somebody could be pregnant here and they maybe come back around to tell you this or come back around to be cool with you and energy, whatever it is. But I don't know why I'm seeing, like, a stork. Like, delivery, like, these people are going to try to drop in high priestess cards. But you may already be able to feel this energy of all these people here who you have disconnected from who are, you know, your lower self or, you you know, being led by their lower self by their fears or frustrations or temptations, you know. um, Just a lower vibrational <clears throat> characteristics as a whole. Yeah, you're going to come and say we're union with them, but I'm getting three cups. They're going to want to be friends again. They're going to want to, be, um, you know, be a part of your celebration, be a part of your lifestyle. Or, you know, I'm getting a few came up, a few glowed up here. These motherfuckers know and are trying to figure out how can they bring themselves up and bring you down, but not make it seem that way with the moon card. Be careful of these people's intentions here because there's a lot going on on the other side of the moon. I feel like the other side of the moon has already been revealed, especially from uh, October 25th to now. Uh, October 20th period and like I said three cups here these people are coming 1333 on a time stamp you could be seeing 333 that is a warning not a warning these motherfuckers are coming here with a lot of anger a lot of passion and a lot of um strong ass energy with the hermit card and like I said you're by yourself you are completely by yourself and the judgment card king of cups these motherfuckers all going to be trying to show up like a noble man noble woman I'm also hearing something about snow white and the seven dwarves you could be snow white right now this motherfuckers is coming in like they're the seven dwarves in reality they're not they're the fucking seven um goblins and imps but yeah with the, with the sun card and eight of wands you're gonna be like a kid in a candy store enjoying yourself and then i'm hearing richie rich or problem child maybe you could be having a time of your life like that and then you know these motherfuckers pop up like oh woo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo, woo -doo, woo. with the seven of cups here because this is one of their doors opener i'm getting like they see all the shiny things or accomplishments or things that you have done or what you have or accumulated and eight of swords are in their head about it and i have the cherry card here they're going to try to start some type of fights with you or bring conflicting guys energy or, you know, somehow secretly compete with you as well for, you know, if you're making moves or whatever moves you're making here. Or if you're not know, recently moved or you're going on vacation or whatever it is here. Because they want the wheel to turn in their favor here, but they're trying to figure out how to get on your vibrational level. 
seven of wands so they i'm um, excuse me seven of pentacles so they're really trying to figure out what they what they can do to see what they can get okay from you so be aware of that like i said people want to be cool on um, this could e include like um lovers friends family co-workers people who did you wrong enemies whatever yeah but loyalty okay we got the car loyalty maybe somebody has a tattoo of loyalty here i fucking hate people who have tattoos of loyalty they be the most unloyal ass motherfuckers in the fucking world okay but it says your reality your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being so like i said you're loyal to yourself or you're loyal to those who are loyal to you so now they're going to try to show fake loyalty also, if you ever wrote, read the book of 48 Laws of Power, okay, there's one law in there and it says, um, don't make friends, learn how to use your enemies. So, um, this may be a law that actually you may want to use. Um, if you want to listen to it on audio book, you definitely can. If you definitely want to see what the book look like, um, you can go on my Amazon wish list and it's on there for you guys to purchase, um, through Amazon, um, but yeah, like I said, a lot of people are gonna try to come come back showing their loyalty here and showing like they really fuck with you and this and that, but it's really not that at all. Okay, um, so you need to be aware of that because, like I said, you're loyal to yourself or you're loyal to those who are loyal to you, and motherfuckers are trying to act like they saw the vision, they see the vision, or you know they want to be a part of the vision. Okay, it says no matter what, you see a bigger picture in a loving, just universe, but they don't see the bigger picture at all. They don't. Also, um. If this is your pile here, you may want to go check out the reading I did earlier or the reading before this one. Okay, but last card, like I said, individuality. I feel like you have to use your individuality, all right, to your advantage. Okay, you're a loyal, you know, you see the vision because you're different. So, your path is not meant to be seen by everybody. It says you leave a unique stamp of love on everything you do. And you've definitely left your mark on these individuals here. But now, here they come. You know, because you're heavy in self-love, they want to learn how to, or they want to learn how to either mimic self-love or act like they have self-love, and in fact, they don't, okay? People also don't know how to express their truths or express who they are, or, you know, express themselves or even manifest their thoughts or transform anything, okay? They don't know the act of transmutation, so they may also be trying to learn that here or take cues, all right, on how to do that. But let's go ahead and get some cards. Yeah, like I said, escape. You need to escape these individuals here. I'm getting like, you have escaped the jaws of of these individuals okay before but now they're trying to escape from wherever they are now and trying to pop the fuck back up okay so you need to be aware of that yeah because i feel like like i said your confidence your self-love your loyalty to yourself is what's attracting these individuals i feel like but some of you guys maybe you didn't have that before you didn't know how to act on it you didn't know how to exude that or exhibit that but i'm getting the time is now or you went through um, a harsh trailblazing change okay or a transformational period what is this? Yeah, also, um, for some of you guys here, there could be, like, if, if you recently bought some type of property or land or maybe you own, like, some type of business or commercial property or maybe you bought your own house, your own car, maybe you got your own space, your own pad or whatever this is, there could be conversations coming up about that. Okay, people may be wanting places to live here or, you know, certain situations going on with people's properties and land and shit like that. And they may tell you, like, oh, I got this going on. I got evicted. I got this. I got that. Somebody kicked me out. Anything like that, okay? They're trying to escape situations. But, like I said, all in all, quote, unquote, I love you. These people want to, want you to think that they love you or they see the vision or they're there. And then I'm hearing a song by Kodak Black. It's called I Miss You. And it go like, I'm... And they go like, I miss you, I love you, and I can't wait to touch you. Um, I just want to be with you and kiss you and hug you. Hold me down when I go through a little trouble. But one day when I get home and we get together, we going to bubble. Okay, and it's called I Miss You Like I Am Why by Kodak Black. Okay, so like I said, um, this is what's going on with these individuals. But like I said, Queen of Pentacles. Man or female, you know your work, you add a tax, you look good, you look handsome. I'm getting like, you know, that's just what it is. So you need to be careful it is, okay? Yeah. Let's get one card here for you. Yeah, like I said, you need to emotionally withdraw from these motherfuckers here. Just like how they withdraw from you, withdraw from them. I'm getting like, you know. Because like I said, if you do deal with these people, you will have financial material changes happen uh, negatively here when they're supposed to be happening positively for you. Or these motherfuckers may try to take that. I'm hearing backpack, backpack. Like I said, these motherfuckers are disruptions, okay? We literally have disrupting energy at the bottom of the deck, okay? I'm hearing that song, anything that you might need, I got inside for you. 
backpack, backpack. They're trying to they got your back. Or like I said, you got these motherfuckers back or you had their back here when they was doing fuck shit. And I feel like motherfuckers are trying to come and collect. Like I said, they're in karmic ass cycles. You need to just move forward, period. Okay? Yeah, because I feel like your next move. Ooh, shit, shit, shit. I just dropped some cards. Your next move, Eight of Pentacles. I'm getting to keep working. All right, don't get distracted. Also, you may want to go listen to Curtis Mayfield for somebody out there. Okay, I'm getting diamond in the back. Okay, banana swords. Let these motherfuckers, you know, have bad dreams, have nightmares. You know, sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare that's going by Beyonce could be significant. It could be a Virgo specifically you need to watch out for, a Virgo placement. But yeah, nine of swords, just let these people eat up their own shit. I'm getting, don't let them escape. Don't let them have a six of wands here because they're stalking, watching, spying, and looking to try to figure out, you know, how can they take the pentacles, make shit equal, give and take, or how can they, you know, get on your train. You know how, um, something like the boxcars, boxcar books. Maybe you used to read those when you were a kid. I know I did. But boxcars, you know how back in the day people used to like hop on the trains and hop on the boxcars and go wherever the train would take them? Like that, you're the train if that makes sense okay so just be aware of this this was the message y'all i hope y'all did resonate with this i definitely will see you later boop, boop, boop.